Trump to clamp down on illegal immigration. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has issued tough new orders to begin a sweeping crackdown on illegal immigrants, putting nearly all of the country's 11 million undocumented foreigners in their crosshairs. However, President Donald Trump's administration will leave protections in place for immigrants known as Dreamers who entered the country illegally as children, according to official guidelines released. The DHS guidance to immigration agents is part of a broader plan for border security and immigration enforcement and executive orders that Mr. Trump signed on 25 January. Former President Barack Obama issued an executive order in 2012 that protected 750,000 immigrants who had been brought into the United States illegally by their parents. Mr. Trump has said the issue is very difficult for him. The Republican president campaigned on a pledge to get tougher on the illegal immigrants in the U.S., playing on fears of violent crime while promising to build a wall on the border with Mexico and to stop potential terrorists from entering the country. DHS officials speaking on a conference call with reporters, said that although any immigrant in the country illegally could be deported, the agency will prioritize those deemed as posing a threat. These include recent entrants, those convicted of a crime and people charged but not convicted. Some details of the guidelines were detailed in a draft memo seen last Saturday. Many of the instructions will not be implemented immediately because they depend on Congress, a public comment period or negotiations with other nations, the officials said. Mexican immigration officials immediately objected to part of the new rules. The guidance also calls for the hiring of 10,000 more U.S. Immigration and Customs ICE, agents and 5,000 more U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents. New rules to subject some immigrants to expedited removal. The DHS will need to publish a notice in the Federal Register subject to review in order to implement one part of the plan that calls on ICE agents to increase the number of immigrants who are not given a hearing before being deported. The new rules would subject immigrants who cannot show they have been in the country for more than two years to expedited removal. Currently, only migrants apprehended near the border who cannot show they have been in the country more than 14 days are subject to rapid removal. The memos also instructs ICE to detain migrants who are awaiting a court decision on whether they will be deported or granted relief, such as asylum. DHS officials said they are reviewing what jurisdictions may have laws in place that prevent the amount of time immigrants can be held. The agency also plans to send non-Mexican migrants crossing the southern U.S. border back into Mexico as they wait a decision on their case. The DHS officials said this plan would be dependent on partnerships with the Mexican government and would not be implemented overnight. An official with Mexico's immigration department said it is impossible for the United States to send deported or repatriated Central Americans to Mexico because of existing treaties between the United States and Mexico. The guidelines were released a day before Secretary of State Rex Tyson and Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly were due in Mexico City for talks with President Enrique Peña Nieto and Mexican officials. Mr. Trump's planned measures against illegal immigrants have drawn protests, such as an event last week that activists called a day without immigrants, to highlight the importance of the foreign-born, who account for 13 percent of the U.S. population, or more than 40 million naturalized American citizens. citizens. 